Hello drone lovers, welcome to my channel again, my name is Kate M. Well, as you can see, my ND filter has arrived. I ordered this uh, ND2 and ND4, ND8 and ND16 filters. They come in a set of four from Endua. <laughs> Okay, this is a pack of four ND filters. Okay, and you can see this is ND2, ND4, and then ND8. And the one is ND16. And they have an adapter for the uh, session 5, but I'm not using session 5. So, because I'm not using session 5, I have to use a kind of a very innovative product that I found. It's a IV grip tape. It's a reusable, removable, and washable tape. And it's very sticky when it's fresh. Okay. You can peel it off, cut it off to your size, and then stick the uh, any filter onto your camera that doesn't have a holder. And in, in this case, I'm using a Runcam 5 Orange um, that is uh, supportive of. Uh, um, variable or acceptable shutter speed and ISO sensitivity. Uh, it has flat color because of flat color, I can do uh, I can overlay a different LUT like DJI LUT, Sony LUT, Panasonic LUT over the uh, video. And the objective of this now with this camera is for me to do a motion blur effect. I've always wanted to try motion blur. But I've never got a chance because my Runcam 5 Black hasn't have a, hasn't got a variable setting for the shutter speed. Currently, I'm using 60 frames per second. Therefore, for motion blur, I would need one over two times the the frame rate. So one over 120 uh, yeah, of a second for shutter speed. So the Runcam 5 Orange has this setting one over 120. Yeah. So I'm using that setting with uh, ISO of 100 to as a sensitivity to prevent all the grainy videos, and we will I will try out and see if uh, which ND filter fits the the best. So far, I ended up with ND4, uh, ND8, and ND16. So you can see here in my experiment there are two videos, two packs. I'm running ND8 in one. Uh, one pack and any 16 in another pack do let me know the difference in the comments below and if you find that i can improve in any way in using any filters please give me a suggestion anyway thanks for visiting this channel again subscribe to my channel and uh, if you can give me a thumbs up if you like this video share with your friends and also um, keep safe and have a nice day bye bye
crashed. Look, I didn't lose anything. Everything is intact except that I broke a prop. Okay, and my FEV antenna is bent. Okay, it's my fault this one. I was too low. Hit the ground. 